All right, guys, I'm gonna do a video about these Merge Mansion ads, okay? I did a video about Merge Mansion on my main channel a couple months ago, and I don't wanna like beat it to death. So I don't, I'm not gonna post this on my main channel, but I just, I have to make a video about it because people keep tagging me in it. And it is kind of crazy, okay? They've got live action ads now. They have, they, <laughs> instead of making these like weird cartoons, they're at the real people now and it's they're like kind of good this like shitty app about fixing up a house has like legit like movie quality ads now with kathy bates they hired like a real actor to be in this and i haven't i haven't watched any of them yet so i'm gonna watch them for the first time in this video do another sort of off the cuff commentary i'm gonna be going absolutely off of my cuff off of the off of the cuff of my shirt all the commentary is gonna be coming from right here what the heck this is so weird <laughs> That is so weird. Yeah, that's my shirt voice. That's what shirts sound like. Okay, so I think this is probably all of them here. Merge Mansion has a YouTube channel, or at least I think they do. Actually, I'm not sure if this is like their official channel. It's not verified or anything, but and they've got a variety of ads here, and you can see they're all live action. So let's just go through here and watch the first one. It's called Giving Grandma a Hand. Grandma, can I help? Sure. Rakes are in the garage. Okay. What the? <laughs> what Were th was there even a rake in there oh maybe there is maybe right here there's a is that a rake she's just got so many knives so i guess okay is that a rake i can't tell um um it could be they're not really showing i kind of feel like it's not i feel like it's a shovel or something idiot grandma there's not even a rake in there why does she have so many knives holy shit so i guess they're trying to allude to like the fact that she's like a murderer or something all of their ads if you remember had like a creepy vibe before like she had committed some crime and they keep alluding to it like she's this she's got this other life where she goes out and kills people i think she they were alluding to the fact that she murdered this girl's fiance or something right why so many knives though you can only kill one person at a time it's not like having all these knives would be it's not like she's got this many hands and she can be stabbing that many people at a time. Do they have to be clean for her to use? So she's got a bunch just in case she's like, she kills someone and then the next day she's gonna go kill someone else and she doesn't have time to clean the knife? It just seems like, I don't know. Just stay on top of it. Just, uh, <laughs> try to be motivational to the killer. Just stay on top of it, man. You got this. Just, you know, every morning, you know, spend five minutes cleaning your knives. You'll be good. You don't need to buy them any knives. She's got so many that she actually ran out of room on her, like, sweet wall rack. And she's just got them, like, helter-skelter on the table, too. Is this even a garage? There's no cars in here or anything. I don't know. This looks more like a regular old garden shed. So many knives. She had the same thought as me. She's just got so many knives. So little time. <laughs> okay, so they're they're alluding to the fact that she's like she wants to kill people with the knives. She's like, I've got all these knives, but I don't have enough time to use them all. But it's like, okay. Does she think the knives are disposable or something? She can only use one knife per person? I mean, maybe she's like a connoisseur of murder or something. She's got like all these different types of knives and she wants to try them all out on different murders, but they're not different types of knives. They're all the same knife. They just, uh, they all have the same green handle, the same slick little curves. I just don't understand what the, what she's gonna do with all these knives. So little time. <laughs> Okay, well, so it's a fu it's a funny ad. It actually is funny, ad, and I guess kudos to them for that. Now I'm worried that people are gonna think that I'm sponsored by Merge Mansion. I'm not, okay? I hate these fools. I hate Merge Mansion. I'll never play the game, and you shouldn't either, unless... Unless you want to. No, I'm not sponsored by Merge Mansion. That's a, that, that was a funny end to the ad, though. She's raking... Raking knives. What's grandma hiding? Obviously not knives. She seems like she's perfectly fine with uh with people knowing about those. You know, it kind of seems like from everything that I've watched, it's like she's the grandma is almost like willing and ready to tell anyone what she's up to. She's like got this thing on her hand that's like, I did it. She's she's hiding, she's just like not no, she's not hiding. She's just placing knives everywhere. She's just waiting for someone to ask what she's up to. If this girl just just was even like, hey, what are those knives for? She'd probably be like, I killed your dad, I killed your dad, and I killed your fiance, and I killed a dog just a few minutes ago. I I'll give you all the details on the murders. I'll get I'll tell you everything you need to know. And then I'll kill you. I guess maybe 
Maybe so, don't ask, because maybe she'll kill you too then, if you know. But I definitely feel like someone should get to the bottom of this. All right, let's look at the next ad, Grandma Getaway. This is actually the most popular one, it looks like. It's got a million views. I mean, look at that production value, dude. They rented out a whole ass mansion for this. This old ivy covered mansion. They got this sick ass dolly shot at the beginning. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful film. I'm not sponsored by Merge Mansion. But if they wanted to, at this point, shit, with ads like this, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't, you know, like, I'd have a hard time passing it up after, after an ad like this. Grandma? Grandma? Nope. Wait, so what was she doing at the beginning? She was just burning something? I can't see what it is though. Kind of lowers the stakes of whatever is happening in the scene if I don't know what she's burning. Maybe it's like the, the somebody's will or something or a receipt for 3,000 knives. Okay, so she's running away. She's got all these different secret passageways. Secret passageways aren't very helpful when the, the person chasing you can see how you're getting into each one. You gotta have a little bit more of a head start, I feel like. Otherwise, you're just sort of giving away all of the secrets in your house. Honestly, that one was a little less funny. The grandma scurrying on the roof at the end is kind of funny, I guess. What's grandma hiding? Not her secret passageways. Grandma is an open book, dude. What's grandma hiding? Very little. I guess you got kind of got to imagine like if she's, if the secret passageways and the knives aren't enough to hide, like what is she hiding? If she's hiding something, it's got to be like fucked up. If she's not hiding the knives, then I guess, you know, whatever she's running away from, whatever she's hiding right now that's causing her to run away, that must be fucked up. All the way she got into those secret passages were crazy, dude. She was like slapping the statues and twisting their nipples. I was worried how far this was going to escalate, you know? I could see, you know... They could get pretty raunchy with those. Grandma, come back, Grandma. Grandma, no. Next ad, you're not my grandma. Grandma, lunch is ready. Grandma? Okay. I So this is kind of, I think this is like a reference to psycho you know type thing you know there's like a fake grandma stood up in the window or whatever it's kind of weird for her to have a decoy of herself when she's like literally 10 feet away from the decoy like in plain sight outside in the broad daylight but she is burying something what could she be hiding what's she burying more knives probably grandma Oh shit. Dude, she knitted that fast. Or maybe she just had that ready. <laughs> Grandma's knitting game is insane. <gasps> oh yeah, look, there she is. She's knitting. She's making another one. <laughs> what's Grandma hiding? Yeah, they should just get rid of the what's. Grandma hiding? Yes. The only thing Grandma's been hiding this whole time is her absolutely blazing fast knitting skills. Just. <laughs> made a whole ass human sized crochet in the three seconds it took her to get from upstairs to down in the front yard. All right, so it looks like this is the last live action one. It's called Pie is Sir. I'm kind of curious because it looks like they posted four live action ones and then went back to a, an animated one is their most recent one. They posted this seven hours ago, but all right, let's watch the last live action one first. <laughs> Absolutely no clue what's going on in this one. Looks like a it's like a dinner party or a cocktail party or something. Butler looks suspicious as hell. It looks like he hasn't slept in years. Grandma Ursula's pies. I think I know what I mean, there must be something fucked up in the pie box, right? Because when she opens it, they're absolutely mortified. But they look surprised to even see the pie box that says Grandma Ursula's pies. 
They're just that surprised that Grandma Ursula makes pies. <gasps> oh, holy fu What the fuck? I didn't know your grandma made pies. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, all right. So look, grandma's got blood all over her... What is this called? Smock? A apron. What is this? Why did I say smock? What is a smock? Okay, same thing. A smock is an apron. I don't know why that was the first thing that came to my head. Okay, so she's got blood all over her smock slash apron. She doesn't want anyone to know there's blood all over her apron. From the looks of it, dude, from the sounds of it, it sounds like they already know there's something fucked up with the pie that has your literal face on it. So I don't think taking off the smock now is gonna do much for you. And that box is like a literal human head. <laughs> and then she comes in and takes off her apron like, what? No, there's nothing weird about that pie. <laughs> as long as I don't see the blood on my my smock slash apron, there's got, they won't suspect a thing. And there's just a head in there. <laughs> Who wants a slice of pie? <laughs> All right, let's see what the freak is going on in their most recent ad then. Now that they've gone back to the animated universe. I wonder if these are like parallel cinematic universes, a la the Spider-Verse. Okay, that one was super anticlimactic. It was just like, she's baking, and she's cutting, and she's in jail, and, and there's a pie. Yeah, that one was pretty anticlimactic. Okay, so so you know what? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just say it. The live action ads are way better. I think it's safe to say uh, the live action ads are actually pretty good, and the cartoon ads kind of suck. So, Merge Mansion, if you want to take some advice from, from your old boy, from your old pal Dan, I would say stick to the live action stuff. Stick to whoever you got writing those ads. They know what they're doing. Can't, I honestly can't say they, it made me want to play the game at all though, but good for getting your name out there at least. I mean, I'm talking about it, shit. And you got, you got to do something pretty crazy to get me to talk about it, so. Yeah, but I mean, it's honestly, I am kind of impressed that like this mobile game has these kind of bonkers commercials production value wise like they they built sets and crocheted grandmas yeah it's pretty impressive so yeah those are the ads i am not sponsored by merge mansion do not ask if i'm sponsored by merge mansion because i'm not honestly i don't have any interest in playing the game probably never will doesn't look like my cup of tea unless you know merge mansion unless you want to unless you want you know i'll cut this part out of the video all right well that's all i wanted to talk about today bye